everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I'm doing a frame walkthrough of my client's new construction home here in Pinewood at Sky Canyon by Pulte. It's super windy out today. <sighs> so my clients are buying Park Lane. Some interesting facts about this. When we went under construction, or when we first went under contract back in, I would say, April, their price, base price, was around 472 k And the base price as of today, which is October 14th, is 599880 Isn't that crazy? Over a 100 k increase in six months. So this Park Lane model, they went with three bedrooms, a den, two and a half bathrooms, and this is 2462 square feet with a three bay garage. So we're gonna go check this home out. So that's crazy how much it's gone up. They have over 100K in equity. So these are inside your garage, your water lines, your hot and cold your plumbing right here. I like how they do this. I've never seen this before. And then your main electrical panels right there. And then all the electrical cables, your plumbing. So in 2018, they started, City of Las Vegas started a code, or I don't know if it's a Nevada rule, where all houses that are built have to have the fire sprinklers. Um, so right here is going to be your main water line, one's for your um, sprinkler system and one's for your water, and then that's for your fire sprinkler system. And then back here, it's plumbed for a water softener and it's gonna have the tankless water heater. Seems like the tankless water heater is already very popular in all these new builds, which makes sense, it saves on space. So we're gonna go inside and take a look. So as you walk in from the garage, you are heading straight into the laundry room. It's a good size laundry room. They have it plumbed for a sink. This is where your dryer is gonna be and your washer. And obviously hot, cold lines. That's your gas line, the can lighting, the oranges for your fire sprinklers. And then also in this laundry room is the smart panel. The blue and white lines are for cable and internet and this is for fiber optics. Now, again, this is the Park Lane model with three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a three bay garage, and 2462 square feet. So here's the front entry. We're gonna go to the main areas first and then work our way to the bedrooms. It's always nice when you take tours of all the different builders and how they operate. This is gonna be the half bath right here. right off of the laundry room. Then you have your kitchen and your great room area. And then the dining room is straight back. So let's just work our way around. Start in the kitchen. This is gonna be where your refrigerator is. And the nice thing about this model is the huge, I mean, this is the pantry, it's huge. Then right here is gonna be the microwave and oven the gas cooktop with the vent. There's the gas line. And I forget what was here, if anything. I think just cabinets. And they opted for the island in the middle, which is they got the executive island. It's going to be extremely large. The sink is in the island, the plumbing, your dishwasher, I think they don't have it mapped out just yet in here for the cabinet guys. Now just to point out they are going to be getting 
pendant lights and each of these pendant lights um, holds up to 50 pounds each and then they opted to have right there is where you can put your ceiling fan and that holds up to 110 pounds up in there so that's that this is going to be for your thermostat and they have three thermostat zones which is pretty cool the yellow wiring is your um, electrical wiring and then they already started insulating this house so this is pretty interesting this let me turn the page for my notes this looks like your condensation line but um, they're using what's called cellulose this is different than your fiberglass insulation and they spray or they blow in the cellulose because they feel that using cellulose gets better through the crevices than doing fiberglass insulation, which is pretty cool. Um, and the nice thing is, is that they blew it in all the way in the ceiling. You see those little puffs? That's the cellulose. And in the attic, you're not going to have real insulation. This is your insulation. And it says that it can be only an 8 to 10 degree difference in the attic from the temperature inside. So that's how well your home's going to be insulated, which is pretty cool. Um, and then this red line is for the hose bib that's going to go on the side of the house. So that's pretty cool as well. Looks like they went with a very long slider. In Nevada in 2018, I don't know if the city of Las Vegas, I can't remember, but they're making it required that all builders add the fire sprinklers. And again, I've went over in several of my videos how the fire sprinklers operate. Basically, once, wherever there's a fire and it hits a certain temperature, it'll only go off in that section of the room. It's not going to go off in the entire house. If it's smoke, it's not going to go off. It's just going to go off, I think, 180 degrees. I can't remember specific right now. So this is the large dining room. And they're going to start drywalling today, which is pretty cool. And they're going to have, they have some can lighting in here. You can put a chandelier in here. And here's the master bedroom. And basically, the blue and white lines are for cable and internet throughout the house. I'm going to have a ceiling fan in here. <clears throat> Here's the shower, the tub, and then the toilet area, and then the large closet. So, let's see. So the green tinge throughout the house is actually sprayed for anti-termite spray. Not that we have any termites here in Vegas. And then in the wet areas, you're going to have this green pest line. It's only in high defense system in high concentration areas like your water areas for pets like your kitchens and bathrooms nowhere else will it be and then right here this little pipe is for the circulation system of your fire sprinklers and they're going to have double sinks obviously let's go into the other rooms <clears throat> It's always fun to see how these are framed and then afterwards what it looks like. So this is the den. They could have opted for this to become the fourth bedroom, but they decided to keep it a nice den. They can make it into a game room, a lounge, whatever they want to do with it. This is the hall closet. This is the secondary bathroom with double sinks and they just went with the builder grade fiberglass tub 
insert another closet probably linen closet and then the one of the bedrooms and I think they both are walk-in closets in both of them they didn't spend any extra money on getting the ceiling fan or wiring they're gonna do that afterwards because with the builder it costs like $250 per room and I don't blame them for wanting to save money because every little bit adds up okay so now we're gonna head to the backyard today like I said they're gonna start doing the drywall inside and then they're also gonna tape and mud the backyard then texture it they did spend extra money to have the canned lighting and also wired for the ceiling fan they're gonna, they have two sliders that looks like it's nine feet and that one looks like 12 but you know what I'm not very good with math <laughs> But the one good thing about this neighborhood is the yard. The lot size is huge. And I don't think they paid too much. I think they had a bidding war on the lot size when we did do this. And I think they was originally asking for 55 and we bid 10K over and they paid 65,000. I don't remember specifics because it's been so long ago. It just seems like it's taking forever to finally finish this home. And then look at the neighbor's yard. Look how small it is. So they looked out with this lot size. When they, again, released it at the time, during that time, back in April, they were having bidding wars on all the lot premiums. So they lucked out with a, a nice size lot. So we're going to go check out the side of the house, and then that's it. Wrap up my tour. So windy out. So this is where they're going to have the hose bib. Electrical. I don't know what that is. Condenser line? Because that's your condenser line there. Oof. I'm surprised they didn't make us wear hard hats today. Again, they're getting ready to texture the outside. And then also drywall the inside. Let's take a peek at the side. There's a slab here, two slabs, one slab. The bib hose, the gas line, the electrical panel, the TV thing in my bobber. <laughs> well, folks, this is the frame walkthrough tour. Noticing each builder is different. It's kind of interesting to see through each of the phase how each of the builders operate. Like this one had that whole new cellulose um, thing in it, which is pretty cool. So anyways, if you're thinking about buying new construction in Vegas, you know who to call, right? Me, Angelo Hare at 702-370-5112. As always, like, subscribe, share all that jazz. We'll see you guys on the next one.